What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Dark Souls 1. Air is still trying to stop the abyss. I, I guess somewhat unsuccessfully so far. It's persisting. Um, we're still working on it. We're going to get it, though. I'm wondering if I just forego Pyromancy and just beat him to death. Do a lingo social media accounts are crazy. Didn't they just have a wild ass post I saw? Some like it was like an anime post, wasn't it? I just saw a video for it recently. I think it was like earlier this week. I think it was a Jujutsu Kaisen thing about like domain expansion and shit. Is that what you're talking about, retry? When you say they're crazy, is that is that what the reference is? Or is there something else you saw from a Duolingo social media account? You've been watching a playthrough of Dragoon for the first time on YouTube? Nice. Well, Catman, if you want to watch me play it, I have a playthrough on YouTube as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, there was a commercial. I guess it wasn't social media, it was a commercial, which could be considered social media, I guess, to some extent, right? But yeah, I have a playthrough of it, Catman. If you ever want to check it out. If I die here, my excuses, my nose is itchy. All right, so rolling backwards. Well, wasn't it was it kind of worked, I guess. At least it's yeah, okay, it, it kind of works. He missed one of his other one of the couple of the hits there. Oh, that was early. I should have rolled backwards too. Whatever. Is anyone else convinced the Hollow Knight Silk Song is just vaporware? <laughs> they need to release that damn game. What I like to believe, Mallow, is that they're just taking the time to make it absolutely perfect because they have to live up to Hollow Knight, which was absolutely perfect. And hey, no problem, Catman. I mean, obviously, if you're enjoying the play that you're watching, continue. But I just wanted to let you know if you ever want to check it out, I got one too. That was before I um, was breaking the episode. I think that was before I was breaking the episodes up into hour increments. So there are three hour long videos or like the full streams posted on YouTube or to YouTube. But I mean, you could just, you know, pause the video. It doesn't really make a difference either way, right? That was for science right there. What they've said from interviews is they just keep adding stuff whenever they get new ideas, which just sounds like feature creep to, to you. Well, I mean, I, th I think it depends if, if they mean like, well, do they mean like features or like zones, bosses? I mean, uh, how, I mean, Hollow Knight was a long game for, for all things considered. I think it took me like 40 hours to do. We did, we didn't do everything. We had the 115% like completion or whatever the achievement is. We did, the only thing we didn't do was fight like that true final boss um, in the Coliseum thing they added to the DLC. But for the most part, I mean, we did, we did a lot of it. That's right. Hollow Knight does not feel bloated. I agree. I agree. It all felt good. You never beat absolute absolute radiance either. Yeah. I mean, I think that that Coliseum thing with that, like the boss rush Coliseum thing at the end was cool. I just, um, I don't know. <laughs> I got... I got stuck on one of the one one of the event like one of the ladders or whatever you want to call it, and I, I just never got there with it. Unfortunately, I tried, tried real hard, but I couldn't get it. And I'm sure that if I spent a lot more time with it, I could have gotten there. But I just um, I felt like my time with Hollow Knight was well spent, and I didn't want to drag it out. You know what I mean?
Oh. Okay. Note to self, do not roll forward during that combo. Too late. Oh, fuck. It's gonna. We'll live, but it's gonna hurt. It's not safe for me. Barrage or not this aggressive, though. I can heal through it. It's fine. Get up, get up, get up, get up. We haven't seen that one in a minute. I've been staying pretty close to him. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Freaking. Of all the bosses, he gets a hit confirm. Where am I at? Oh, there I am. Oh no! <laughs> it still hurt him, I guess. That counts for something. Darkness. I timed that perfectly. Do you see that? Oh, what's he doing? Okay. a follow-up. Shit. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Markoth is super easy to remember the version of his fight in the Final Pantheon's of Nightmare. I can't remember who Mar Markoth is, to be honest with you, Mallow. But yes, I would believe that removing platforms would uh, make the fight a lot harder. So the only thing that I know about the, like, so I know the lore of Hollow Knight. I know that when they added the Colosseum DLC, some of the videos that I watched on the lore really didn't like the Colosseum because it kind of screwed with the lore that was there already. I'm assuming that Silk Song takes place after one of the original endings of Hollow Knight, excluding the DLC, but I'll be curious to see what they do with that. He's not a super memorable fight. Uh, he's just a ghost that flies around and chucks spears at you. Oh. And has a shield circling him. I, I think I, it was one of the, um, like one of the warrior spirit fights then, maybe. So I can see in my head what you're talking about. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. We don't know when Silk Song takes place yet. I'm saying I hope. I'm wondering, like, which ending Silk Song will use as the canon ending. Yeah, if the game comes out. I mean, I'm sure it'll come out. I can't. It'd be a hard. It'd be hard to believe that they wouldn't release it. I I think there is some fear there that it might not live up to Hollow Knight though. Really? You're going to open with this? You had a bad, a bad time today, huh? Kind of upset.
All right, he didn't like the double chug. He didn't appreciate that. Just top off while he does his little combo. How does that hit me? Oh, his hand, his staff hand goes down too. wasn't my best idea. Alright, I don't want you to cast some shit, so let's, let's fucking do this. Not that. We should not do that. That- it must be because it's a roll catch sometimes. That must be why it does so much damage. I tried to roll it at bad timing on my part. Okay, hold on. Black Flame is, uh, it's like staggering him. Not staggering him, but it's re letting him reset. Oh, that was so close. wasn't worth the risk. It also deals diminishing damage the more it hits that land, that hand. Oh, the developer said for Hollow Knight that the um the any ending is no more canon than the others. Oh. That's kind of a cop out. Well. I think the ending where um what happens in the true ending? I'm trying to remember one of them, what, like the, the shitty ending is whenever, um, what's the red, what, what's the character in Silk Song's name? I can't remember her name. One of them, she becomes like the thing that's holding in the corruption or whatever. The other one, the knight does it. And then there's the true ending where she survives and gets out and everything. The basic ending is just the night takes place of the, ho of, of the Hollow Knight. Okay. What? Th there's one ending where, where her mask appears on the the cocoon or whatever. So that's one of the endings right there. And then there's the true ending. Right. Yeah, Hornet. That's her name. You trap Hornet there. Yeah. Yeah, because in the true ending, you use, like, the darkness, quote-unquote, to beat the shit out of Radiance.
Bad idea. That's the one, yeah, yeah, and the true ending. Uh, you, <clears throat> the, you destroy the infection, the sibling can rest in peace at the bottom of the abyss. Also, Hornet survives that one, right? Yeah, I don't know the Pantheon ending. Well, I mean, I've seen it in a video before, but I don't remember what it does. Or, I don't remember, remember exactly what happens. Alright, this is a horrible idea, but we're going to do it anyway. So we're gonna buff up our our attacks now. I just gotta make sure I grab all this humanity every time. Cause now we'll do what? Like 451, which is better than we were doing before. Give a little more oomph to our hits. I think we were doing 70 per hit before on him. Let's see what we do. With eight humanity. Ten is obviously the cap, but. Pantheon ending, the knight becomes a more powerful god than the Radiance, uh, destroys it, becomes a rampaging beast that escapes god home. Also, the Hollow Knight is freed from its prison and runs into Hornet. Oh. Yeah, I'll... Being that uh, Quailax Fury Sword is a chaos weapon, yeah, we'll see how it works with not using the Pyromancies. Just gotta make sure we grab our souls every time now when the fight starts. That's, only, that's a little bit more damage. The end of it got me. How many times do you do that in a row? Nope. Nope. No. Come on. Oh, okay. Oh, no. He's still got the last couple hits. I, I don't know. Sure. I'm gonna eat this whole combo now. I'm rolling too early before the hit actually goes through.
Oh, it caught me. Just chug. Oh, I thought it was going to be the other one. It was not the other one. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to go do like, you know, the other things in the game and then come back here later. That way we can get our damage up a little more than we currently have it. Because, you know, obviously, in like most Souls games, the best defense is killing the boss before we can do anything. If we can burn Manus down faster, then we don't got to worry about timing as many things perfectly. I think that that attempt with, with just, you know, attacking kind of worked a little better <clears throat> than um, using the pyromancies. Because, you know, I can kind of set it up so that I'm not, like, essentially locked into an animation for as long. So I have a chance to um, kind of react a little faster than with casting. And also, we don't whip as much. So we're guaranteed damage whenever we get an opening. All right, I don't, my shit is whoa, not and gonna be easy to get back to. dead here. Nope, not quite. He doesn't really do the staff slam that much. Which means he'll probably start spamming it now. Should have hot swapped the silver pendant right there. I had time. And I thought about it too, so I definitely could have did it. Alright, well Manus might end up taking a longer than I thought. At this rate. I thought he'd be like a 3-4 attempt boss. Apparently not. The nice thing... Once we get past him, the rest of the game will kind of be a breeze. Calamite's going to be a problem, but we'll come back to Calamite after we do everything else in the game. Besides, you know, the final boss. I 
I definitely think doing melee is working a little better for me. As opposed to being reliant on the on, our, on the various fireballs. I mean, they do good damage, but if I can hit him three times with a sword versus one combustion, for example, I think it ends up being worth. Manus is tell off. Does anybody know? He's in a dragon, so maybe it doesn't apply. And I'm dead. He's testing me. ahead for Artorius. One of these times, we're going to have a bad run back and I'm going to lose my shit and be very upset that we lost all of our humanity again. I'm already upset that I spent like way too much humanity at the at the Daughters of Chaos for no reason, for no reward. I could have swore it was that door too. I guess it's the other door later on. Great Chaos Fireball does now with 8 Humanity because that buffs that Pyromancy as well. Thanks, Mel. Have a wonderful rest of your evening. Thanks for hanging out tonight. to do about that. That attack in particular right there. Like, I guess just get away. Maybe you like um, imply the millennia strat. And whenever you see him start to do it, you just run backwards. Then I can get a free cast off as well while he's stuck in the animation. You know, normally what you do when, when you get to a point like this is you'd go and, you know, do some other stuff in the game. Quit beating your head against the wall here. Move on. Kill some more bosses. Advance the game. Come back here later. But, 
unfortunately, the way my brain works, is like, oh, you're at this boss. You definitely can kill it. There's definitely, like, it's not impossible. Like, there's, there's enough here that you can do it. So therefore, I'll sit here and try this over and over again until eventually I do kill Manus at, level, at the, our current level with our current, you know, set of things that we have. All right, can I see my shit from here? No. Thanks. I was going this way anyway. Maybe you just roll back when he does that. How did that not hit? What the fuck? How did that not hit right there? You said Duolingo social media accounts are crazy because Duolingo is caked up apparently. What? I've never heard that before. That's a first. Isn't Duolingo's um like mascot an owl? How is the owl is the owl caked up? Is that what you're telling me right now? The owl is caked up. What in the fuck is going on? All right, I'm not aware of whatever that is then. I'm aware of the commercial I saw that was a anime reference, but not, not of not of the caked up owl from Duolingo. All right, that's fair. This, the social media account's wild then, yeah. Listen, it's all, I think it's kind of entertaining when you see a business just get wild with their social media. Like, I think the one that you always think of when you talk about that is like Wendy's. How Wendy's used to be sassy. That account used to attack everybody. I don't know if it still does or not, but that was like a big thing whenever it started doing that. The, per the, uh, the team that ran it.
Ah, I clipped me. Well, that's a shitty combo. That was a pretty good attempt, though. Like, it felt pretty good there for a long- for, for a good bit of that fight. Starting to get the feel for all of his- at least his melee attacks. I think you can roll through the dark orbs when they come in like that. It might be better off just to try to send this out. I think it- if it persists until that gold aura goes away, that's a pretty long time. You just gotta be wary of that startup time on it. It'd be awesome if it deflected like a dark bead back into him and he just killed himself. I don't think that's how that works, but if it did, that would be fucking crazy. Let's do it again. Is my still. Too slow. Ah, clip me at the end. Can't, oh, that fucking rock scared me. Come on, put up in the corner. Too many. Can, can you like... Thanks. That wasn't bad. I didn't want that to happen though. Too slow on the silver pendant. I didn't move. And then I was stuck. Damn, that was a really good attempt too. That felt good. Seeing the owl throw back is crazy. <laughs> Damn, that was that felt good there too. Might as well get used to this run back. We're gonna have to do it for Calamite too. 
mean, it's that way, I guess. Then you got that goddamn ladder. Is Chester still chilling? Yeah. I don't know why he didn't invade me. Alright, so whenever he goes to do his combo, as long as we get out of it, we can get like two free casts of any pyromancy we want. Preferably a, a pyromancy in ball form. That's really fucking annoying. I guess we got some humanity back, so we'll call it a win. You know what? Fuck it, actually. This will give us 10. So we will squeeze a little bit more damage out of our weapon. That would probably behoove us if it was at plus 5 and not plus 4 right now also, but... I didn't have to waste that fucking flask. Watch, we're gonna come down and need one flask to kill him. Right, our stuff's right behind him, which is not the best place for it, but... Uh, this is Quillax Fury Sword. You get it from, uh, upgrading a Curve Sword to plus 10, I believe. And then, um, using Quillax Soul at the Giant. Wow, that was super bad. Uh, not really, Cookie. I just started it. Like, I did it like one quest. That's not that bad. We're still better off than we were. Come on. I agree. It's because I have to. Because it happened. I got out of most of it. now for that part I thought that was a different attack
Okay, so that's that's a lot of damage now. I'm fucking dead. Unbelievable. That's a shitty way to die. But yeah, Cookie, I think um I did I think two Roland missions. And then um I did some of the for like just for Nermaya, I did her um her next episode of Fate. Just to get her another sig sigil slot. <clears throat> I like the end game loop looks pretty cool though, overall for that game. I'm really excited about it. Um Cause like you have like the whole like you have to gather crafting. It's like very Monster Hunter esque, where like you go on certain missions to get certain crafting materials to make new weapons, then upgrade the weapons, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and keep tackling harder and harder missions. Um, I believe there are very hard missions that you unlock eventually too. They they throw a lot of systems at you as soon as you beat like the main story and get into and get into end game or post game content. Um, which I think will be really fun. Like that is the allure to playing online now. For like the harder missions is to bring in, you know, other real players to help you clear them. Vice versa, you know what I mean? I think that'll be, uh, I think it's gonna be really fun. I'm excited about it. I really enjoyed that game. Like I said, I enjoyed the story as well. I mean, it was kind of a generic anime story. Like, nothing like blew my mind about it. But I thought it was very enjoyable. And, and, the, and the, visually, the game is beautiful. And all of the characters that I've tried and, um, and the ones I've unlocked too, they all are pretty fun to play. They all feel like they bring something different to the table in their own way. Yeah, so you're at the same point. You're, you're where I'm at now. See? I tried to use the silver pendant. I was too slow. You've gone through too many Duolingo Insta posts. Well, stop. Retry. What are you doing? I might end up for YouTube. Maybe. I might end up editing this part out a little bit. Maybe I'll list the number of attempts or something like that instead of posting all the deaths. I feel like this could get annoying because this is an older game. Obviously. That people have definitely seen before. So, I'm sure there are plenty of videos of somebody dying over and over to Manus. I don't, the thing is, I don't know. Like, I feel like it's a mixed bag. I'm not really trying to hide it. It's just, I feel like for like someone watching the videos for like a viewer retention perspective, like you don't want to watch somebody do this over and over again.
Yeah, I could do like a montage. That's a lot of editing. Though. What do you mean just a separate exclusive? Like, like, like aside from the regular playthrough, I'll do like a separate video of the Manus attempts. Yeah. Do you think people would want to watch that? You're my, you, so the stream is my think tank right now. As viewers, would you watch that? How do you feel about that? That's not what I wanted to do right there. too early. That was bad. Shit, he followed up. He caught me at the end. That's okay. It's not the worst. Shit, there we go. Whew. All right, Manus goes down. First try, obviously. Oh, where's Dusk? There she is. Hey. Dusk, you're okay. She's not doing too good. You're not bad. Thanks. Thanks, retry. 
Dusk is uh, not in the mood to talk right now. I'm pretty sure she's gone now too, yeah. Yeah, so there's like, that's the, there dusk, oh wait, no, she's still here. Hey, what's up? Yeah, I mean, you know, if she was inside Manus, I'd be fucked up too after that, so you can't really blame her. <laughs> Either way, Manus goes down. First attempt, not bad guys, we did a good job, we did a good job there. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. Um, Let's actually go to, you think Manus was inside her? Oh, really? I don't know what the lore surrounding that is. I, I thought Manus had other lore that wouldn't support that. I don't know. I don't know. That's an interesting tank that t uh, idea, though. Oh, God. All right, so we're going to the Daughter of Chaos. If I can find it on the fucking... There it is. All right, not bad. Not bad at all. That took longer than I wanted, but I think we kind of did that earlier than I should have, so I'll take it. Whatever. It's a win. A win's a win, right? So, with that, we are going to wrap this episode up for YouTube right here. So, if you're watching on YouTube, you may have just watched me struggle against Manus for around two hours. If you did, thank you for watching. If I edit it, well, it was about two hours. So, anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.